T. What up, brother? Looks really good. B O B. Bob, what up? What's the word? Larry Bird. What's goody? I'm booked for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Kenny Sat Saturday, Paul Nickerson Sunday, and Louis Guzman on Monday. Yes, sir. Waiting for Ron Guerrero. There he go. Try what the word is. Connecting. Yo, what's good, what's up, man? How you? What's going on? How you? I can't complain, man. Staying out the way. Hey, same here, man. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Staying out the way, like you said. That's nasty. Lost a few people, you know, yeah. my neighborhood and all that. So yeah, man. Gotta watch this thing. It's nasty. Yep. But yeah, first of all, yo, Drew, I want to say I appreciate you. You know what I mean? I appreciate you letting me um, come on here, you know, and give my, you know, give my story today. Um, Absolutely. It's definitely going to um, inspire, probably inspire some people and, um, you know, just tell them, just uh, give a lesson today, pretty much. You know what Absolutely. I mean? Absolutely. Some people that may not know, you know, how this basketball process go. And some people that do, they, you know, and then my people that I played with, um, kind of like I said, I just kind of like disappeared after um, sophomore year in high school. So, you know, this gives the story and let um, lets everybody know what's going on, you know, what happened. You know what I mean? Absolutely. No? Yeah, Let's yeah. get to it then. At what age and where did you start playing ball? At what age did you start playing basketball? Where are you from? I started like this. Um, Tracy Towers. Um, that was the first place. Um, soon after that, I went to the Gauchos. But um, it all started in Tracy Towers, about eight, uh, eight to nine years old. Um, I had three, I got three brothers. Um, two of them played basketball, you know, pretty seriously. Um, that's my brother Tone, my brother Earl. Um, okay. Growing up, I always heard about them. Um, I actually seen, actually seen my brother Tone play. Um, when I was little, my sister Sabrina, she's in here right now. I remember she, um, she took me down to, to the Gal, I mean, I'm sorry, down to Tucker Hope Park. Um, Back in the day, I was about maybe six, seven years old, and my brother Tom was playing ball back then. So I remember, I kind of remember that. I was kind of young. I wanted to play, wanted to play, you know, on the swings and the slides and all that. When yeah. I was yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, Tracy Towers always um had a little team, you know, in his age group and his generation. Um, God bless the dead. Um, big Big Red, a guy named Big Red, he used to keep things going in the towers um he used to as far as um sports and everything for the youth um you know Tra yeah i don't know if you know tracy towers is kind of closed in yes sir i know exactly where that is yeah you know what's up um i don't know if you've been inside we have our own park there yeah you have your own exactly. world in there it's different own world <laughs> yeah <laughs> our own playground everything you know what i mean um so yeah i started kind of i i the first time what really sticks out, what inspired me, because I'm going to talk to you about what inspired me to start. That's what happened. Because that's okay. what happened. That's how I started. I got inspired. My brothers, um, my brother Tone, I remember one time, um, Big big Red and, you know, the committee and everything in the Tracy Towers, they had a big tournament in the um, in Tracy Towers for everybody in there and everything. People came from outside and played and everything. I remember my brother. I, I come, we playing tag, me, Cal, and, you know, the other guy, other people in the building, Cal Cup. You know, I grew up yeah, with yeah. him also. He's from Tracy Towers. Um, we, you know, we playing around. So I end up going to the back. That's everybody in the building is there. Okay. So I'm, like, Word. I'm like, oh, wow, what's going on? I see my brother. I said, oh, let me watch my brother. Let's see what he's doing. Because he was telling me, yo, I'm nice. I'm, I'm nice, man. So he... 
he gets the ball in the perimeter, and this always stuck. I mean, if you if you seen this as a if you was watching a movie, like say if this was a movie, this was the time when the music would start playing. <laughs> gotcha. Like I, I see him. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. No, nah, no, nah, you good. You good. Yeah, so I good. Him, he got a stick of gum in his hand. I, and he he would, wouldn't believe I remember this. Okay. He, he got a stick of gum in his hand. And I'm watching him closely. I'm like, before, and you know, they down the court, and he's they, they, the point guard's coming down. He got a stick of gum. He's trying to open the gum, but he couldn't. So he put it in his mouth and just held it in his mouth, still in the wrapper. Yeah. The ball. And he's on the perimeter. And he, uh, uh, he, and people in here know who I'm talking about. Um, um, my man Wayno, Wayno was being him up. He, left handed. Okay. He go, stop and pop. Uh, you know what I mean? Two points. I'm like, oh, that inspired me. So from then on, um, I started playing around in the park. Um, in PS95, up in, in third grade, me and Cal, I know, I know Cal will remember this, um, we actually picked up the ball and, at the same time, playing in the gym and all that. And this kind of went from there. Okay. Playing in the park. Then what happens is we get to the Gauchos. This is when I get introduced. First, the the, the, the word goes out, oh, yeah, my tone, your brother. You know, Sabrina, your brother's nice and ball. Your brother's pretty good, man. Um, So then what happens is um my brother Earl hears about it. He says, yo, he says, yo, um, you know, we need to take you to the Gauchos. Um, you know, the lady he's dating right now, but he was dating, he's still, you know, she, they still um, around or whatever. Um, yep. that's my nephew's uh, mother. Her sister, her sister is is, uh, is is like a secretary at the Gauchos. Okay. Parker, everybody knows who Deborah is. Um, everybody knows Deborah out there. Um, if you play, went through the Gauchos Saturday, Sunday program or any anytime, everybody knows Deborah. She said, yo, she said, yo, yeah, you could come, you know, on such and such date for tryouts. My brother Earl took me down there. I get in there. It's a whole new world for me. <laughs> That's different. How old are you? How old are you at this point? I'm nine years old. I'm nine okay. years old at this point. Okay. I walk in the building. You know these names right here. C. Nick. Yeah. Ernest Brown. Majestic okay. Mac. Muggsy. Um, a kid they call Black Magic. A lot of, a lot of talent in the building at, you know later on you know, i get to know these names but i remember these are the people especially majestic map <laughs> yeah, sure. you know what i mean i re see and see nick and all of them um and so this is biddies i'm nine years old i kind of hold my own i kind of hold my own and everything um and in the biddies tryouts um dave jones is there he tells he said yo um yeah he's gonna play biddies and super biddies he's he gonna okay. play both you know what i mean Cause I'm kind of I'm kind of chubby at the time, yeah, right. But I'm um you know I still can can play or whatever. I'm still no. learning. I'm developing and everything. Um, so yes, yeah. yeah, so we get through. Um, he says come to the Saturday and Sunday program. I know I know you remember. I don't know if you know about you know Gaucho Saturday and Sunday program. Yes, absolutely. Very next day, so my brother comes brings me home. He says, tells my pops. He said, look, it's in your hands now take me to the Saturday and Sunday program. Okay. Julius Hodge, Brownell mm. Miller, um, Ade Swan, all of these names. Every Saturday I'm playing with these kids. We, we growing yeah. up playing together. Um, so then, so then what happens, um, yeah, so then we, we play in a few, in a few, you know, a few tournaments. Um, my man, Big Russ, Big Russ grew up with my brother, my brother Tom. So what happens okay. is I, I meet, I meet him I meet Big Russ. I said, oh, this, this is going to be your coach. Because after the Saturday and Sunday program, the Super Biddies practice. So I meet, you know, I meet the coach, meet him. Next thing you know, oh, he grew up, um, he played ball at Clinton and went to school at Clinton with my brother Tom. Okay. Said, Yo, that's my man. That's my man right there. So, yeah, so how that goes, that's how that go right there. I played at this time, Drew, um, and my family, the jump shot is – was, was kind of the thing. 
Okay. So I naturally had it. I had like a set shot at this age in, in the park at Tracy Towers. Or yeah. In school. in school, in grammar school, Catholic school, I played um, from fourth grade, organized basketball, Pee Wees, then went to JV before I went to the Gauchos. Yep. I played, you know, played over there, went down low. But these guys, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of different cultures, Caucasians, Spanish, everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I'm coming off picks. I'm shooting in Pee Wees. I'm playing down low. Um, nice. and my man, Teron Stafford. We played. We was the stars. We won both years, pretty much. Won won the championship. This is you know real young. But yep. the great thing about it, and this is one thing that Steph sticks out in the story because I don't. Here in, I'm here in North Carolina, right? Yeah. Um, they don't in New York. We, we're always growing up playing basketball. We're always praised. I had trophies. I had. I was getting trophies at in fourth in fourth grade, nine yeah. years old, ten years old. I'm getting. I'm collecting trophies in my in the living room. I'm yeah. always like, get that trophy out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you know. And I don't know if you know this, Drew. I'm mixed with Puerto Rican. I'm Puerto Rican and Honduran. I mean, gotcha. I'm from Puerto Rico. You know what I mean? Okay. I, I think you mentioned, I seen podcast earlier. So you know about Spanish. Oh, get that. Come on, you're messing up my living room. But then yeah. they start piling up and she started getting proud of it. <laughs> she said, <laughs> she said <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so so you know, the trophies end up staying. So anyway, yeah. um, yeah, so as we go, um, big rush, you know, super biddies, we playing, we um citywide. Okay. Um, LaGuardia House, different various tournaments, you know, Gal and you know what the end, the end last game of the, of the tournament is always Gaucho <laughs> against Riverside. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I'm running against, I'm running against, um, I remember a young girl, um, I think she went to Martin Luther King High School, Tiana. Mm -hmm. I don't, I, remember, I forgot her last name, but Tiana, yeah. she played on the team and everything. Um, yeah, so. That was my first experience. I'm learning. I'm developing. Um, and I, I, I then after the Saturday and Sunday and whatever after the Saturday and Sunday, we'll go back to that. Then Monday, we go. We have the first practice. This is Dave Jones. Okay. This right here, Drew, is is the foundation of my training. Gotcha. As far as learning how to train for basketball. Yeah. Right? Dave Jones ain't no joke. You could ask. You call Julius. <laughs> you call Darnell. You tell he man. I'm in the practice with Majestic, and I'm kind of young with this. I, I you know, I'm, and I'm still a little chubby. Yep. By the end of that summer, I lost weight. Okay. <laughs> I be I, I I got slim. Yeah. Going into ten years old, um, you know, ten years old, still, you know, now I'm playing super busy. I'm still doing the same thing. Um. In school, now we're going to switch to school. I okay. go fourth grade to fifth grade. You know, we play. I play in St. Philip Nary. That's over there in the Bronx. Um, yeah. Bedford Parkway. Okay. So we go there. I, I go there. I play ball there, whatever. Now, it's two teachers, two real mean, mean, nasty teachers. I said, damn. I said, I'm not going to last in this school when, when I get to this grade. <laughs> My parents ain't having that. Yeah. The teacher fighting, you know, fighting with the students. And, you know, you can't go to the bathroom. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, he was an Indian teacher. His name was Mr. Patel. Okay. Mr. Patel, um, you know, pretty much, long story short, I had to go to the bathroom, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. And my mother, my mother's Puerto Rican. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? So I said, listen, he, nah, you can't go to the bathroom until lunchtime. You know, because these schools, these Catholic schools, it's all about discipline. Yeah. Discipline in the kids. You you know, you're trying to make them, listen, you can't go right now. Yeah. And, you know, no. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, I'm trying to go to the bathroom. He didn't let me go to the bathroom. This is sixth grade, beginning of the year. Yeah. I let it go, man. <laughs> let it go. This leads to my mother coming up to school, cursing out the principal, um, cursing out everybody. Yeah. I I um I get the I get the the green light now. Okay. Curse out the teacher. Listen, my son can go to the bathroom. You, you know what I mean? I, I'm yeah. not happy 
next time. And I heard about you fighting the kid, blah, 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 blah. So he's like, oh, okay, all right. He, you know, let's, let's it rock. Yeah. I can go to the bathroom. But, I, you know, I feel awkward. I don't want to be here and can't go to the bathroom. I mean, go to the bathroom and I'm teacher special and all that. Yep. I said, Ma, I want to go to a different school, man. I want to go to um, St. Lucy's. Okay. We played against them in fifth grade. And this yep. is leading to all of this. I'm telling you all this. I know it's a lot of extra little stuff, but I'm, it leads into high school. Got all you. this story leads into high school. Got you. I guess into, um, I guess into you know, I, I, I go to St. Lucy's. We go visit it. Um, they, my mother loves it. I said, Ma, yeah, it's the better neighborhood. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm learning how to. I'm, I'm selling it to her early. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. I want to get out of St. Phil now. I like their team. I like the gym. I like everything. I'm okay. noticing these things early as a young kid. Yeah. So then um, I get over to to St. St. Lucy's. They put me in there. I get to St. Lucy's. I, my varsity coaches. I didn't play sixth grade year because when you tra transfer in Catholic school, they have all these strict rules. Like and even like this is New York don't play with basketball. I had to. Yep. Yeah. They make you sit out. <laughs> make you sit out. Wow. I couldn't play for the team. I had yep. to register. <laughs> Got you. Six <laughs> too late. That's crazy. I guess it was not fair because it was a little bit later and, and they, they already had the tryouts and all that. No, you got to sit out. Blah, blah. I said, all right, no problem. Yeah. I'm playing with the Gauchos anyway. Yeah. I'm getting on the train after school. I go to practice at 4 o'clock. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm playing got on the weekend, so I'm still playing. I'm playing with Body House. We we playing all over the city. Um, Getting that good training and everything, you know, yeah. the whole year. So seventh grade comes. I'm polished. Now. Okay. And this is when I'm the jump shot. My, my the jump shot is is it's it there. A thing for me, you know. What I okay. mean, it stands out now. Yeah. I come into school. Um. When I get to the school, the, the dudes that played on the team, they be oh, I never remember you. I remember you. Yeah, you played for St. Paul Perry. You know what I mean? Okay. This school over here is called. You know, this, this is the this is white white people more mostly white. You got gotcha. Italians, but you got not real white. Yep. Let's see. Now I'm in down south. I know real, the real white. And then you yeah. got Italian. You got Yugoslavian. You got I, I, this is what's yeah, over yeah, here. yeah. You know what I mean? So yep. This is this is what's on my team. This is who's here. It's like yeah, I remember you. I remember you from from uh, Saint Philip Mary. You playing with us? Gonna play this year? So yeah, yeah, I'm gonna play. So I go, I go to tryouts. <laughs> With the, I got the gaucho. I think I got gaucho shorts on or something. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm walk. I walk in, gaucho shorts. Um, I'm already on the team. As soon as they seen gauchos. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. But then my game also speaks for myself. I mean, okay. I'm, I, I'm going through this. These drills that they're doing is nothing for me. I'm doing this since nine years old. To go through the gotcha. cones, um, you know, I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm dancing with this. This everything is easy. It's like, wow, they looking at me like, wow. <laughs> I said, you guys don't know. It's way, it's, man. <laughs> Come on downtown with me and see what you see over here. <laughs> yeah, right. Word. So, um, yeah, you will be learning this stuff at er early age in New York City. Um, so pretty much, um, yeah. So, you know, I'm. That's not even a question. My sister Sabrina on here. She said. You think you're gonna make the team? I said, of course. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So I made the team. Boom, Palma, uh, Frank Barati. We win two championships um, over there, seventh and eighth grade. The word get, is getting out, man. This kid, you know, Ron. But this is on the other side of town. So okay. Over here, I'm playing shooting guard. I'm playing kind of the four and the three. Okay. Kind of the gaucho, since I'm so I'm bigger than I'm kind of taller than everybody. When I'm playing with Majestic in them, I'm two, three, something like that in, in that area. Gotcha. Like I'm playing that. They they, they polishing the guard skills. Okay. But all the way there, you know what I mean? I'm I'm getting polished. Yeah. But over here, now over here, like with the with this with with the younger with, with younger crowd, I'm down low. I'm posting up. I'm gonna tell you the story. My sister gotcha. mentioned. Yeah. Um, I walked in the gym first day. I remember that first day at the um, Saturday and Sunday program. So I don't mean nothing. You know how you go to uh, Fordham Road. Me and my mother, you know, we used to go to take me shopping Fordham Road. You know how the guys have the, the shirts on the side. Mm. I picked a shirt one day because Shaquille O'Neal had just gotten to the NBA. He played for, the, played for Orlando Magic at the time. Yep. I picked the shirt 
the shirt say Shaq on it. <laughs> okay. Got Shaquille O'Neal, you know, dunking the ball or whatever. Yeah. I think nothing about walking the gym. It's big letters, Shaq. These guys don't know my name yet. The coach, Coach Rick, he says, hey, Shaq. Name sticks till today. <laughs> I'm not Shaq. I'm not big like Shaq. I don't play like Shaq at all. Yeah. I'm like, man, oh, my gosh. This is stuck. So everybody's calling me. Yeah, that's Shaq. Ask you, Drew it, Drew it. Yeah, Shaq. Everybody, yeah. Shaq. Shigari, Shigari's on here right now. He'll, he'll holler, holler right out. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, yeah, so we go back to, um, to, 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 to the seventh, eighth grade. Um, we play, you know, we win the championship seventh grade. Um, then we get to eighth grade. So I look at the schedule at the beginning of the year, you know, because now I'm bouncing from St. Lucie's every day. I'm, I'm working hard. What do they play? Like, what other schools do you play in, in that um district? And over there in that district, you're playing, um, like, people like St. Helena's. and You play a lot of Castle Hill schools. Okay. Yeah, Castle Hill, like St. Helena's, um, St. Francis de, de Francesca. Gotcha. You know, you don't really get to meet the, the Mount Carmel's and all that. Yeah. You know, all those all right. teams. Um, you know, I don't, get to, I don't get to see Cal in them when they play that Mount Carmel. Gotcha. It's really the same age group. This is, you yeah. know, um, it was presented to me like Dave, um, Dave McCullen came to the Gauchos and he was my coach. He was the coach one time and he presents that to me, to me and my parents one time. Yo, you should go to Mount Carmel. You know what I mean? Okay. He had the coach there. I can't remember you know, his name and all that, but he had the coach there one time after we won citywide and won one of the tournaments. And I remember him mentioning that. I'm like, I'm good over here. I'm, I'm the star over here. Over here. Gotcha. I'm, that. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah. Um, so that leads to, yeah, so I get, I look at the schedule. Now, mind you, I'm at Gauchos. I play with Darnell, Darnell Muller, Matt Augustine, and all of them, right? Yeah. I look at the schedule. Tremaine, Tremaine um, I forgot his last name. Um, big tall kid. But, yeah, I look at the schedule. I see St. Raymond's. I'm like, oh, shit. St. Raymond's. All right. So I'm not, it's not dawning on me that. This is the team stacked with all of my my whole team, or practically my whole team at the Gaucho. Okay. Matt Augustine, Saint um, Darnell Miller, um, Tremaine. I think his last name was Cap. I think I remember something like that. Um, yeah, all these guys. So I'm like, oh, oh wow, you know. And I got a team over here, some strong, some tough, you know, tough white boys. You know yeah. what I mean? They, they, yep. they, they, you know. So we get to this, um, we get to this, to this, to this game. Um, I'm kind of talking about, yeah, this game right here. And I told my man Mark Ward, he played with them too. We in practice one time. I said, yo, we about to play y'all. He said, worry, we got a squad. Y'all about to lose. I said, hmm. what? I said, yeah, all right. He said, yo, we got, you know who we got on our team? We got Darnell. We got Matt. I said, worry? All y'all play for the same race. Okay. So they talking crap to me. I'm like, yeah, all right, okay. I tell them, I say, yo, listen, man. We need to go ahead and win this game, man. We're going to win this game. Bro. I don't want to hear this. <laughs> um, team consisted of, these guys are not really, no, they, they didn't play ball pass this time, but George oh. Strelly, um, I'm going to mention their name, George Strelly, Peter, all these dudes, they, you know what I mean? George Strelly, big, big, Big white boy, big kid. He's he's um I think he's like Albanian. Big. Yeah. Played down low. Okay. We got you know a nice little team that we can, can we can contend with them. Yep. The result drew a L. We give it to him. Oh yeah. <laughs> it was pissed. It was pissed. I mean, you know Matt Augustine. You I know you've seen Matt Augustine. Yes. Play Matt Augustine's defense is ridiculous. Yeah, lockdown defender. Oh my gosh, yo. I say, George, listen, man. I, I had to explain to these guys. I said, listen, these, this Matt, this kid, he's playing. He, they have him being me because I'm, I'm getting, all, I'm coming to. They, they have me coming off picks. Okay. The ball, like Ray, like kind of, kind of like Ray Allen. Yeah. Shooting the ball, and I'm I, in the corner and this and that. So Matt Augustine, they switch from Darnell to Matt Augustine. Yeah. Matt is on me. He's get. I have to like elbow him, like get off of me, Matt. <laughs> so. 
I told George, I said, listen, George, when you set this pick, you have to set this pick really strong, man. Hit him. Yeah. Hit him off of me because I'm not going to be able to get the ball. You know, okay. it's a set play. So yeah. the point guard ain't going to be able to get the ball to me if Matt is all in my face. Yeah. So he starts, oh, I got you. <laughs> hmm. He sets the pick. He set that pick good every time. Okay. In the game we win, but I, I, I can't remember exact stuff so long ago. But we ended up winning. <laughs> we win the game. They was pissed. So we played them again later on. This is eighth grade. This is eighth grade. And this is a, I'm telling about this rivalry because this carried us into high school. Right? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. I like the story right here. So me and, um, you know, we go back. We go back to St. Ray's. We play at the high school this time because I guess they were doing something in their gym. And they're doing high school gym or whatever. Um, this is the old gym. They hadn't built that new gym yet. Okay. It's back maybe nine, nine, five, nine, five, nine, six. Got you. So when we go to high school and play, we 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 go on the layup line. <laughs> they got James Brown playing. <laughs> they got James Brown. You know, this is a big payback. Bum, yeah. Bum, uh, <laughs> so so boom so. Go up against we go up against they blow us out boom so okay damn I'm like all right they got us back yeah so I see I see y'all in high school so now let's take us this is gonna take my my journey into um into the coaches knew Tom you know Tom Murray Tom Murray was the head coach was the head coach athletic director at Cardinal Hayes High School. Right. Okay. Um, this happened because everybody's like, why you go to Cardinal Hayes? Why you do Cardinal Hayes? So this is what happened. Oh, I've always been asked that, right? Yeah. So um, Carmine and Frank Barat, they knew Tom Murray Jr. That's his son. His son coached at Truman. I don't know if you know you know this or whatever. No. Coach Truman, he's on that side of town. He's he he comes through. They get him to come through and see me play one time. I don't know. I never seen him. And you know, Tom Murray had a culture at Cardinal Hayes. He don't recruit people. No okay. Recruit. He's not a he's not a guy that recruits. But in a way, you know, he recruited. He kind of recruited me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so how's he gonna get ball? I, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. And that's what I was nervous about too when he told me that. I was like, what? So. Um, yeah, so Tom Murray Jr. comes and watch me play. I get, I get with, um, then, then, you know, you know, you got to take the co-op test in, in eighth grade. Yep. It's like what, um, with my man, uh, Jason Wingate was talking about with you. Yeah. The co-op test, and he, you know, he had a little difficulty there with that. Um, I pit St. Raymond's. I like, I like LaSalle. Mount St. I think you could pick only like three or four schools. Yeah. I pick, and I picked Cardinal Hayes on there because my coaches is like, yo, you should go to Cardinal Hayes. Okay. You should go to Cardinal Hayes. He's the, and that's because they're friends. Now that I go back and think about it, they're friends. And the word got back, and I guess Tom Murray snuck over to <laughs> says, yeah. so see me play. Next thing you know, I get an invitation to the camp in the summertime. Okay. So I'm bringing that home to my parents. They pay the little money to come to the camp. This is when I get introduced to Tom Murray. Okay. okay. Wonderful guy, man. Um, wonderful guy. So, despite what everybody, what people had rumors about, you know, they, you know, with him. But anyway, um, so that's how I get to Cardinal Hayes. Okay. I go um, to the camp, and in this camp, <laughs> see you, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> My dude, see Nick. See he Nick said, <laughs> Monster right there, yo. I got stories. I got plenty of stories with him right there. <laughs> Which we're going to get into. I'm going to get to the journey and I'll tell you a little stories. Oh, go ahead. Do your thing. Yeah, so, good. so now, um, yeah, so I go in there and my team, this is, I mean, the, the campus consisted of guys that are freshmen at the time. They're one year above me, right? Okay. Most of them are one year above me. Then it's people that's getting ready to kind of that that wants to come to the school or whatever and wants to perform for the coach. Yeah. Um, and this is Tom Murray's. This is how Tom Murray kind of recruits. He don't recruit though. He don't recruit. Yeah. Kinda, this is how he did do it. If you come to his camp, you 
go holler at you. It'd be nice. Got you. So I'm in there. I'm I'm kind of developing my guard skills now. I'm 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 in the summertime. Dave Jones, he's developing. He's like, Yo, Ron, you got to stop this big man shit. He's yeah. like, You got to you got to work on this. You got to work on this handle, and you got to work on these guard skills. Um, so this is going into yeah. high school, right? This is going into high school. And you're still playing like a big, more or less? Huh? Mm -hmm. Still playing like a big, like that's that's how you're, you're, you're I'm going to tell you this. It's kind of, it's kind of, I, I, I was the type, I'm going to do it with the coach say so I could play. You know Got what I mean? You. I Got had the guard skills because I played in Tracy, in Tracy Towers. Yeah. Nosh, TJ, you don't know these guys, but whoever on here, they know. I see people on here, they know these guys. Yeah. Big up to these guys. Floyd Spencer played for St. Ray's with Kareem Reed. I mean, this building, Tracy Towers, has yeah. some talent okay. that really never ventured out of the building. Some of them ventured out, but they ain't really, you know, do nothing past um, high school and everything. Gotcha. Nothing really major, right? Yeah. Like me, like me or Cal Cuff or something like, like that. You know? yeah. I mean, we were the guys that, that were seen as those guys from our, our building that's going to represent our neighborhood. Nice. So, you know, and everybody's like, yo, we want to, you know, we want to see Ron and Cal do it. You know what I mean? Yep. So, um, so my guard skills are kind of developing because I'm getting up in the morning. The, the, the basketball court's right there. Clinton track is right there. Gotcha. You know what I mean? It's a no-brainer. My brother's on me. Earl, he, he's on here right now. Yeah. You need to do your running. You need to come on. You need to be able to run the floor. <laughs> so I get into that so between um, eighth grade and and, and, and and high school. I okay. developed those skills. So I get to this camp. <sighs> um, same thing like when I was came in St. Lucie's. Yep. My Murray is like, yo, this kid. But the thing about it is that my jump shot. Yeah. My, my you know, I'm, I, I really developed my, my you know, the, a, a good shot. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much I'm pulling from half court on you. I'm, I'm right. going. I'm I'm coming up watching Stephon Marbury. Mm -hmm. Me and me and Ju Julius, yo, I'm staying. Yo, I'm st yo, see Nick could attest it right now. We staying after this Saturday. We staying to watch um, Felipe and Steph play. Yeah. And Shimu Evans and Ramel Lloyd. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm watching Steph front row in the Gauchos pull from the pull from the from from the hatch. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm kind of watching that and I'm absorbing that. Gotcha. And I'm developing that, that, those skills. I'm developing those guard skills um, that I need to, 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 to excel um, yep. as a as two or three guard. Um, I really, and when I go and I play my age group at the Gauchos or whatever, I'm playing down low. But then when I go play with C. Nick and them, I'm playing guard or whatever. I'm coming up the bench gotcha. and all that. Right. Um, but I really I have both. I'm, I'm developing both. So by the time I get to Tom Murray, I'm 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 good. OK, I have a, I have a, a, I have something for him to work with. Yeah. Right. And he he says he says, kid, you know, he says, kid, are you you really going to come to because he knows I play with gauchos. I'm, I'm you know, they're going to, you know, he's like surprised, like this kid just walked in my door. Yeah. Right? Not to brag on myself. This is not here. I'm not here to, to brag on these things. No, no. You just saw it. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so he, this kid walked in my door, and he plays with the gaucho. <laughs> it's like a dream. Like He's like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. So his son bought, bought him, you know, bought him something. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because Ramel Lloyd, Ramel Lloyd is getting ready to be out, so there's no team. Right here. So gotcha. You notice, remember, 96, 97, Cardinal Hayes was losing him. They losing the velocity. They lost every game. Almost. They maybe won like two games, something like that. Yeah. And there was a lot of talk about about them moving to the to the lower division. But he, when I was there, I'm gonna tell you this. When I was there, he wasn't. This this wasn't happening because the freshmen, our freshman team, we were pretty good. When I get Jeff to Greer freshman, was there. Huh? Hmm? Jeff Greer wasn't there. Jeff Greer was there. Jeff. Okay. Greer, oh no, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Nine six nine seven. No, nah, I'm sorry. They won. I said after Jeff Gray was won. I forgot about Jeff Gray. Gotcha. I'm getting ready, and that's crazy. I get forget about Jeff Gray. I'm getting ready to tell you about Jeff Gray too. 
I get to freshman year, Jeff Greer was there. He's a senior this year. He's getting ready to go to Rutgers. Yeah. Jeff Greer, um, it's the beginning of the year. I get in, you know, I get in school, get acclimated, blah, 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 blah. As soon as school get, get started. Yeah. Tom, and, and I, I always thank him for this. Tom Murray had Ron Guerrero in the gym. As soon as school got started. As soon as school, September, every yeah. day. I'm I'm leaving I'm leaving class I'm going downstairs to the to the basement <laughs> to the gym you know what yeah. I mean he said be, be at um come on down we're gonna work out because <laughs> he seen that I had an interest to do this this is what I did at in trade in, in Gauchos yeah Luke Jones is teaching me this I just needed someone to to really you know focus on me like this yeah yeah you know? that was the reason for not going to Rice and not going to any of because they got you know they stacked over there all right. Y'all good. Y'all stay. Y'all over there. I see y'all. I see y'all during the season. Yeah. So boom. So um, September goes around. September, October. I'm working out. I'm working out. Mom, uh, Murray got me down there. His son. He, he gets his son to come all the way from the other side of town, and he been working out every every day. Every day yeah. we working out three o'clock, um, three to like maybe five, hitting up jump shots. You know, training. This is when I really learned repetition basketball um it's very important and then what happens is um Mur tom murray comes to me and now it's time to for the season to start <laughs> I'm, I'm looking <laughs> at this at the varsity practice he comes yeah. to me he says what do you think i'm gonna give you you know I'm, this is gonna be your choice now you know because he know he got a squad this year he know he know they contend and they doing something this year yeah he's like you know he's giving me the choice he's like He's hitting. He say, "Yo, you wanna, you wanna play varsity? You, it's open for you. You could come and you can learn. You know, you're not gonna get a lot of playing time, but you can learn. It's a learning experience. I would have been in my class. I would have been one of the only to do that if I would have did that. That's this is this is point number one for 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 this right here. If somebody's listening, you got a son. If the coach asks you that, tell him to do it. I, I that's one thing I should have did." Okay. I should have sat under Jeff Graham and learn, and learn, you know, learn, um, and learn, 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 in on that team. Yeah. Forget about being a star on the freshman team, on the sophomore team, and everything. He gives me that option. I say, I look. I, he said, "Go ahead and go out there and play." Man, I go, I go out there, man. The, the pace. I remember Shigari. Shigari talked about. Um, the pace of the game. Yeah. Talked to you, right? Yeah. Talked about the pace of the game. The pace was fast. And I, I tried it out. He let me go in a few rep, few plays. I was like, damn, I, I want to do it. I said, nah, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, build my name a little bit, play freshman. Next year, I'm definitely going to do it. Got you. I, Cause I get on that court. I thought, I thought, ooh, that guy, this guy, Jeff Grimm, man. <laughs> Different. And I threw the thing, like, kind of kind of messed up. I threw it off the backboard to him. He, you know, Jeff Grimm was, Different. He's catching, wherever he's catching it, it's going yeah. back. It's going yeah, it's back. Happened. Yeah. But he was kind of mad. He's like, yo, this kid, man. <laughs> he, Damn, man. But I threw it, he catches it like this. And boom. I said, oh, my gosh. <laughs> it is, it, you know, it, it's having the courage to get ahead and, and step up and do that i think gotcha. i should have did that you know what i mean um just like dre dre did at you know at the time or whatever yes sir at rice he went vars right away vars soon as right away yep, and yep. that would have been that would have put some that would have put the the respect that would have put like the respect in the city already yeah on my name i'm in the you know because if even if you chip in and you have a few points you start in your varsity career yeah and they tally these points up Kenny I, Anderson, Kenny Anderson, you know, the history is guys that that scoring champions. I think Kenny yeah. Anderson helped with 2,500 points and all that. Who knows? You know what I mean? You know, I would have started that up. Maybe I know I probably wouldn't have been having 30 or nothing like that, but I would have had maybe a few points or whatever. Yeah, your numbers. You start, start your points. Numbers. Start your numbers up. Stay, I stay as a freshman and everything. Um, stay on the freshman team. I got a team. Um, 
a lot of guys that 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 really didn't, you know, because like I said, Murray doesn't recruit, so I'm kind of the only one that's kind of known that played in all the tournaments and everything. And then I got, but I got a guy, I got some good players, some strong guys, Melvin Isaacs. I don't know if he's on here, but Melvin Isaacs. I got this kid named Manu Henderson. I don't know if you know them or whatever. Um, then I got then in the school you got players that's 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 strong, that's strong. But then they they wow. But at the same time they want they come they want to be on on, on two fifth. They want you know I mean yeah yeah they, they fighting in the school and all that. Like this for instance, one was my man Ed Johnson. I mean this kid was like six seven six nine. Tough. I'm like, man. I said, yo, Ed, this is my man too. I said, yo, Ed, come on, man, just chill, <laughs> just chill. <laughs> so you're playing on the team, like, you know what I mean, so we can have a squad, man. He's like, yeah, I got you, man. He's slapping people up every day. I hear him on the uh, jug. He's getting detention every day. I said, man, this kid ain't. Playing. <laughs> they not. They get back to Murray. He's like, man, this, this kid. We're not having this kid play with us. And sooner or later, he gets kicked out of the school and all that. You know what okay. I mean? And um, but yeah, we still had a nice little team. Um, we are gonna talk about Don Mel Donnell Miller again. Matt Augustine, This is when I get introduced to Peter. M well, Peter Mulligan played with me at Gaucho. Okay. Right? He came in around the same around eighth eighth grade. He came. He started playing with Gauchos and everything. And um, I'm playing with him in the summertime and all that. So um, I didn't know he was going to to, to St. Ray's. We meet up with St. Ray's during the season. They come up to Hayes. They supposed to beat us. Okay. We win. We win that game. Um, Peter Mulligan, you know, I, I'm, I'm playing freshman. I'm averaging 20 to 25 points a game. Okay. You know I mean? So this is my class right here. So yeah. You now you're picking us where, where this is the reason why we're sitting here right now. I'm averaging 20, 25 points as a freshman. And, and yeah. I'm in my class. Yeah. So okay, boom, we get the, get we get past that. Um, go to the summertime. I play in the summer, you know, play gauchos in the summer and everything. Um, I come back um, sophomore season. Um, one of the things I seen me in the su summertime, I had about five like five trophies with me. Me and my mother, we getting on the train. You know how they give out trophies every tournament. Yeah. So, um, Rucker, UDC. I caught the. I had the. I think this was like championship day, and I had like three games that day. <laughs> okay. You see, Rucker, you know, you know how it go in the morning. You see, huh? Bouncing around all day long. Bouncing around all day long, sweating, throwing water. It's a hundred degrees. People catching strokes and all that. The, the ref caught a stroke. I remember. But you know, we got we we playing it. We we always gonna be playing in the championship. Got your Riverside. Okay. We played Gaucho Riverside like three times. I'm sick of seeing Teddy Mumford. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Every all day. So um I get the scoring, the scoring title at UDC and all that. Okay. So I got the like the I don't know if you've seen he got game. I got I had like that trophy that, that they had in the movie. Yeah. And I'm walking around with that. You know what I mean? Then we go get another trophy. I got like five trophies. Me and my mother. My mother got like three. I I got like three. My mother got like Maybe may have two in our hand. Okay. We the, we, and we don't have no, we on the train, and, you know, we on the car. Yeah. We on the train and the bus with this. They're like, wow, yo, that's nice. <laughs> mm -hmm. So um, I see one of the deans that gets back to Murray. He says, yeah, kid, I heard you, heard you had about five trophies with you this summer. You had a good summer, huh? <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Ready, you ready for varsity? I said, yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Okay. And I go straight, I go varsity. Um, okay. Now this is this is the another point in the story, another real um, heavy point in the story and everything where um, that needs to be understood and everything. Um, don't listen to rumors. Listen to rumors. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, hearing rumors about I know you probably know about this. You follow basketball in New York City. Rumors about the Tom Murray and. The, and Jamal Mashburn and what happened with him and oh. you know then the gauchos is in my ear about it. Yeah. I mean, so I'm getting kinda antsy. I'm in and I'm at Gauchos. Coach Bruno from LaSalle is there all the time. Yep. <laughs> he know me. He know 
You know what I mean? He's coaching me and shit. Yeah. He's like, yo, you can come to LaSalle whenever you want, whenever you're ready. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I guess I get kind of, you know, like, I might go to LaSalle, I might transfer, because I don't know. I don't want this man to mess with my. But he's, he's 100 with me, yo. This is another mistake here. This is another mistake that, that happened in the yeah. career. Um, listening to these rumors and then Tom Murray, um, you know, I'm, I goes in. And it's influencing how I'm dealing with, 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 with this now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yep. I'm hearing about it at the Gauchos. I'm hearing about it when I come to school because they talking about it. Yo, you got to be careful, man. Yo, Tom Murray is something, Murray is something else. Blah, blah, yeah. Blah, blah. Murray working me out every day. Today, I wouldn't have did what I'm getting ready to tell you I did. Got you. I went, I went, I played a few games, played a few games um, on varsity. Um, it was some scrimmages. Okay. Played a few games. He's, I'm in and out. I'm in and out. This man gets Tom Kinchowski to come and watch me play. Okay. Mind you, already, I'm already ranked. I forgot about this part. I'm already ranked who school top 50, one of the top 50 players. All right. I was, I think it was like number 42 at the time. I'm from yeah. coming out of freshman year. Yep. Who school, you know, that's who does this. Tom Kinchowski. Yeah, yeah. I don't know this, but I, somebody comes to me and say, yo, you rank, you know, you rank, you rank. I said, like, word? Oh, shit. I really didn't know, understand none of these things because my, my family, my brothers, I didn't have really nobody, just like Peter Mulligan was telling you about, he didn't have that, that, I had brothers that played ball. Yeah. They didn't, they didn't play past high school and all that. They didn't do all of these things. They yeah, didn't do yeah. all They weren't ranked. They didn't get into this. Not saying, you know, this is not, this is just, that didn't happen in my family, right? Yep. I'm ranked now. And um, so then Tom Murray, he's bringing, he brings Tom Kinchowski to me. I'd shake his hand. Yeah. 6'4", it's about 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, he's a swing man. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? And he starts me that game too. I'm like, wow, this guy is, you know, this is the, this is the ingredients of a coach that wants you to succeed. He wants yeah. you to Go, you know yep. what I mean? <laughs> I go, I'm, I'm still like, you know what I mean? I don't understand what's going on. And I'm 16, 15, 16 years old, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm, I understand, and I'm like, Psh. one day I come, I come in, I said, man, Psh. I think I want to go back to JV. I go to, I go to walk, I go to talk to Tom Murray um, in his office. I say, yo, I want to, um, Go, you know, I want to go back to JV. I think it's going to be better for me. I, I don't really have a, a good explanation for this. <laughs> yeah. He, anybody else that do this, anybody else, a kid comes to, uh, comes to the coach, coach comes like, you will go ahead. Tom Murray says, what? <laughs> did your parents, did you talk to your parents about this? He's livid about it. He's mad. He's pissed. Because there's nobody on the team this year. That year, I mean, they on the know, varsity. Pretty, team, there's nobody on there. their varsity team. Jeff Greer is gone now. Okay. I'm a sophomore here. Jeff Greer is gone. You got Guillermo Sanchez, was kind of the guy, and my man. Um, I forgot his name. My man was another dude on there that was nice. And you got a kid named Mike Celestin that could shoot the ball. And okay, he wanted another shooter on the team. Yeah. So I say, nah, I want to. You know, I want to go back because I'm. You know, I'm kind of getting this. I think one. I think one game, like I'm, we was playing against Omar Cook, um, Preston King. I missed the game. It was like around Thanksgiving. You know, we spanned this spot. You know, you know, Thanksgiving. <laughs> we have the big thing at the house. Yeah. <laughs> I was up. Up all, you know, up, and I missed the game next morning. Okay. Um, so I get disciplined for that, and then I get. So I'm like, man, I'm mad anyway about that. So then, I'm like, man, I'm going back to JV, man. <laughs> And, you know, being young, you know, understanding what this, what he's doing. He's trying to make you stronger. He's trying to, you know, discipline you. He's trying to make you into a ball player. You know, what I mean? made you want to go back to JV though? I don't know, man. I don't. You, I, do I, you think that the that that your confidence was not where it needed to be to be at I that think, level? Like, do you think it caught up to you? I don't know. I guess that that may have been that may have been it. That may have been it. He's he's and then the thing about it is that he's doing everything to build the confidence. That's what and I'm that, saying. That's like, that, 
when you don't get that opportunity, everybody, everybody, everybody doesn't get that get opportunity it. like that. You know right. what I mean? That young. That's the next lesson here. Yeah. Yo, kid wants to play varsity, go over and play. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I come back to JV at 25 points a game. I do whatever. I do my thing. But it don't mean shit. It don't mean nothing now. You know what I mean? But, yeah, it was like. I think it was like I, I was playing with these. I'm playing. I'm starting with some games. I'm coming up. I'm getting time now. I'm getting real good. I, I would have been a six man maybe, you know, that yeah, on the varsity. Yeah. I'm like, damn, what am I doing? Like, I'm, I'm, then later on, I regretted it. I did regret it, regret it later on when I go back and I, and I you know, I, I go through the season a little bit. I'm like, damn, I should be Christmas. I should be playing at Manhattan, at Manhattan College at the, um, the Christmas classic thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Damn, what am I doing? I told him, I said, man, I, you know, we, we used to talk a lot, me and Tom. And I said, man, I, I regret, I regret it, man. I regret doing it. He said, don't worry about it, kid. He, he you know, he's, don't worry about it. You're young. You don't, you know, you don't understand what you're doing right yeah. now. You got next year. You know, okay. we're going to be all right. So he's putting that confidence in me. He's still working me out. He's still, you know, on the side and all that. And how'd you do that JV year? How, how, how'd your team do? How do you end the game? We beat Christ the King um, at the new gym. I remember that game. We beat Christ the King in the city. Um, in the in the city play, we went kind of deep in the city playoff. I think we went to like maybe the the third round in the city playoffs. Okay. And the thing was to do that, you're supposed to go and win a championship. That's another thing too. Yeah. We lost to St. Francis Prep um, in the in the in the playoffs. Um, yeah. All them picks they were setting. They were saying. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but I did. I did good. I did great. I, of course, because I'm playing. You know, so I'm playing JV. I'm averaging 20, 25 a game, okay. 20 and better every game. Um. So, and I'm like, man, I'm like, damn, I should have. You know, I should have. I'm looking at the paper. I'm. I'm starting this thing. These the, the light is starting to come on. Damn, I, I could be in the paper now. It's time to to get to get recruited. It's it's, it's time for all of this stuff. Yeah. So, all right, I still got the summer. Your summer between sophomore and junior year, very important. The biggest. You agree, right? That's the biggest. biggest. This is when I switch. This is when Gauchos is going through a little a little situation and all that. They not and they're not really sending me. Now I'm getting aware. Now I need to be at camps because I'm I'm watching Cal. I'm lo looking at Cal. Cal is at five star basketball camp at Nike camp at ABC. He's everywhere. Okay. Right? Fresh after freshman year. Yeah, I'm not. Gauchos is not doing nothing. They're not sending, you know, they're sending me. Nothing. And see, Dre Barrett, Dre Barrett, is is he moves around. He's Kips Bay. He's uh, he's moving around. Yes, yeah, sir. So he he's on deck on all all of this. I'm not playing. Really, I'm playing in the city. Okay. I'm not really playing AAU basketball. Gotcha. Against the nation. Yeah, that exposure. Against, that exposure. Yeah. So what happens is, um. I uh, so I, I I say yo I'm going to Riverside man I'm not playing with Gauchos I, I have to do something because I know I made a mistake now okay and now I got this is a, this is very important right now yeah so I switch it up early I ain't even say nothing matter of fact no I'm sorry my sister my sister wrote a nice letter to because they they looked out for me they was like family the Gauchos it wasn't nothing against them I was there and I was kind of loyal to them we wrote a letter to them and everything and we, I was up out of there. Um, you know, thanking them for throws up. Left. What happened with the homie? I don't know. He got cut off and it says that he left. But he was in the middle of telling his his the the, the good part. That sophomore to junior year is very serious. 
kids need to know that. That's when you're on your way up for real. Yes, his Wi-Fi for sure. He might have the Wi-Fi from Puerto Rico. He got to step that Wi-Fi game up, son. The international Wi-Fi don't work in the States. There's five minutes left. I was going to log out and log back in. But I got to make sure that he's on deck. I'll give him a few more minutes. And just do it over. Pick up where we left off at. I'm going to log out and log back in. See if that helps him.